Hello. This is a very powerful animation pathfinding player engine. Hopefully I'll be able to cover all aspects of it. If not, I'll give enough so that you can figure out your ways of how to use it. And we'll use the cat as an example. So as a start, we put all the assets into our objects, in that case the cat's uh, content menu. So we put our sounds, animations and the props. We need to set the props first and I'll show you how to do it in a minute. And the other things we need to add to here is the animation engine, script and the config file. Once we do that, we open the config file. In the first line, we have the channel number. Uh, that is uh, to call the menu from the from public chat. So if we type 82 menu, and if we press enter, the menu uh, the menu would come up. In that case, if I do that, it will start uh, saving the note card. It will take some time, so I won't do it. So you can set this to any number you like. It doesn't have to be two digits. It can be more than two digits or less than two digits. Just make sure if you have more than uh, two or more than one um, animesh objects on the scene, so they don't use the same channel. So because when you call uh, the same channel, it would conflict. So the next line is public and perm permissions. That is uh, that you can set this to public or owner. If you set this to public, uh, anybody uh, can touch the touch your object and play the animations. If you set it to owner, only you can uh, touch it and play the animations. So we'll leave this to public in that case. We, you can have three menus, uh, main menus. So in that case, I have three main menus named animations one, animations two, and sequences. So basically, I'll just show you, you I just don't save. If you touch this, you touch this as you can see animations one animations two sequences if you uh, press further you'll see the animations under uh, animations one if you go back if you press animations two you see the animations under animations two and sequences only has one at the moment which is windows hit okay we go back to our config file again <coughs> For the first uh, main menu, we have to if if we want to put the animations under the under the main menu, we type the menu name first. So menu we and we put at the num number of the menu, which is in that case one, and this is two, and this is three. So we put all the animations under menu one, as you can see here. Once we are done in here, as you can see here, there's menu two, and then the animations under menu two goes to here. And then next one is the button. You don't do anything with that. That is just as default. And the next one is the a name, which is the animation name, as you can see here. And in that case, animation name. So you give any name you like, so not the animation name. Pardon me. So that's in that case, I called it idle. So again, I'll show show you. And and then animation name, which is in here cat standing idle. So touch animations one, as you can see, idle. So, and the animation goes under that. If you press this, it'll play the idle, which is the current one at the moment. Actually, that happens, um, that, that happened good. So um, if that happens, that means the uh, previous animations is affecting the next one. If the joint rotations uh, haven't changed much, so that would affect the next animations just to fix this you would play another animations just let's say walk and then if you go to idle from here if that, that doesn't fix we need to go to another animation just to um, maybe stretch and then touch again animations and idle 
Actually, that's probably how the animation is. So that's not a problem, but probably the problem in the animation. So um, we go back to our uh, config file again. <coughs> the next one the, uh, is the if we, we don't have to add only one animation in here, we can add uh, sequences of animations. I'll show you how to do it in here, the, which is the sequences my many tree under my many tree. Uh, I added more than one animations. The cat sitting looking out. It waits five seconds between those these two animations, and then these animations cat licking paw stars, and then it waits five seconds between these, and then the and then when this finishes, I put the looping on. That means it goes back to the first animation again. So it goes on and on. It just it repeats these sequences over and over. I'll show you how that works now on the menu first, patch, sequences, window sit, well I have to close the edit menu. Now the first animation plays, still playing, will wait and still playing the first animation, will wait about five seconds from here. Now, again, if that is not taking the animation, we need to uh, just do a little bit trouble shooting. Normally, that was working about five minutes ago. So let's just go zero out in again and save it again. Save. And it will start reading the note card in here because it's a long list of animations. It will take a little while. I'll pause the animation and come back when it is done. Okay, once it's finished uh, reading a note card and you just get a confirmation of that, just we close this and then we just go and touch and hopefully this time it'll, our sequence will work. So we'll go to Windows Sit. There you go, it waits 5 seconds and then the next one plays, lick in, and then we'll play, we'll wait 5 seconds and we'll play power plane. You should have played the power play and loop. Again, if that doesn't happen, we need to do some troubleshooting. Good, good thing that these things happen. Probably you'll face the same thing. So I just pause and cause the problem and show you, show you how to solve it again. Okay, all I ch uh, change is the timing in between. So this is actually I think I uh, realized this is actually those timings are not animations between waiting times between these two animations, but actually how long this animation should play before the next one starts. So I just changed the numbers to 10 and this one to 10. So I wanted this animation to play 10, 10 seconds and then this one 10 seconds and the next one starts. Also just for the safe side, I just put the on in capital letters. So maybe that also affect how it worked as well. So as you can see now, the animation starts. And then the next animation starts. And then the third animation. This goes on about, even though this animation is about five, six seconds, now it will wait until 10 seconds is over and then it will loop to the back. Okay, this is how it works. Now we'll go to the next line in the configuration file not this one. Okay, now the next line is the set position and set rotation. So we can get this position and rotations manually from here. That's the position, that's the rotation of, of it. Or we can um, and just if, if we want 
the animation to play exactly on where we want like in here so in that case if you don't put anything to here and if you touch or uh, object and go to settings and say set get position so it says position set in here so it will play in here if we didn't enter any number but if you want this animation let's say particularly for this animation to play somewhere else in that case we put those position and rotations manually and this has to be vectoral so you, the format should be between brackets open and close brackets so this bracket and you put uh, let's say uh, 32.5 and uh, 111.6 and z really doesn't matter as long as the surface is walkable so but we'll just put any number 20.5 so that is the format you should enter uh, if you want that particular animation to play somewhere else other than uh, all the animations play in the same location so and the same format is valid for here too set rotation so we have to let's say 90.0 and and 20, let's say we make it 60 degree angle or even 0 0 most of the time that's going to be the case so that's the format how it should be but in that case I want animation to play exactly in that location so I just, um, just take this away but in some cases some animations may actually uh, go into the floor some of them may be above so in that case you may enter a, a manual position in here the next one is pen pet finding on and off. So I'll just show this not with the idle animation, but with the cat actually cat walking cat walk. So if you uh, in, if you put pet finding on, I'll just make it on. In that case, you have uh, two options: either you set it to custom or random. So you can type all in small letters custom or random. In that case, I'll just go custom. Custom means you set up the uh, positions and then your object, in that case the cat, just patrols between those these positions. So to set the position, we just raise a box. Just raise a box. This can be any name. And then we just move this to a location where we would like. I'll just go like this so, so let's say we want the cat or cat to travel here and then just go to here and then maybe just go zigzag style right we need to name this this one as one this one as point two and as this one as point three this can be any name so we just uh, get this and we select the main one as, as the last one and then we link those so this becomes a linked object once we do that we go into our uh, scripts folder and we get the position tool and put the position tool in the content of these boxes once we do that if we touch it or right click touch and we in our chat line we get the positions of those boxes separated by commas so we just copy these and we put this under the path so now if we save this our cat will walk from here to here to here to there and then we'll walk back again pause on and off means if we want our cat to come here pause a little bit and pause on each location this has a little glitch that if our cat is not really fast, so if it is an animal, you won't really see the effect. You'll see that effect mostly uh, on vehic vehicles. So um, it won't really, you won't, it won't matter for, for the cat. So I'll just leave this off. So I'll just save this. It will, because there are too many animations, so it will take about 30 to 40 seconds. So I'll pause the video and then come back when, it's, when the saving is finished. 
so it finished uh, saving I'll just touch and go to animations go to walk as you can see now our cat is going between those locations and it will avoid the obstacles if I remove distance it would have a better uh, smoother I just delete those it will have a smoother now we'll go there and we'll walk back on the same path now I haven't said that uh, this doesn't have to be an animated uh, object it doesn't have to be on a mesh you can use this for anything this could be a simple box as well so in that case you would leave the animation part empty there wouldn't be an animation so you could this could be a, a box even could be a car it could be anything so the next one is we'll just I'll just uh, right click well we'll just go we'll go to config file again the next line in our case in our thing is uh, instead of custom if we set this to random I'll just set this to random then in that case we don't need none of these so we just uh, doesn't matter you can delete it or leave it on and in that case we need a radius so that means from the center point we just uh, select a radius let's say 10 in that case so our cat will wander within those within th these radius so and the desired speed affects the pathfinding uh, random and custom both so that's the speed if you want it faster than this or slower than this this is how you where you set it so it's three is that is the speed so I'll leave this as it is so and I press save and again it will take about 40 seconds 40 probably 50 seconds so I'll come back when it's finished saving okay it's new it's finished saving and because our cat is a now we just touch uh, we'll touch actually and it is actually a good time to show uh, because our cat in that case is moving it will be hard sometimes to touch uh, catch and touch it as a default you can't touch uh, your animation objects directly so you have to right click and touch so that's why you call the menu from the menu uh, I'll just close the menu from here and you'll just close the menu from here the menu will not come up if the menu doesn't come uh, come up and it doesn't show that means uh, uh, you're, it, you have to be within the 10 meter radius so you're away you're too far from it so you need to get closer to it as you can see now it just came and we go to uh, well actually because actually that's a, a, another good example and that actually I press this one and there is another uh, cat set with the same channel so the, it actually called the other cat because uh, my avatar is near to that cat then instead of this cat so the other avatars uh, menu came up so and just right click and touch now and just show how it works with radius so I'll just go to animations again I say walk now in that case it doesn't actually follow the path it just wanders around just wanders around within 10 meter radius randomly again this can this could be anything it doesn't have to be uh, an animation object so I'll just right click edit again open the config file again and go to the next line the next line is uh, the prop so um, you can actually put anything in the scene for with the animation let's see if when while that animation is playing you could just put a you could uh, get a couch res a window res even a milk maybe a door you know, anything you like in this example I'll show you uh, a couch a cat the cat is jumping on the couch with that animation the couch raises so I'll just go find the jump on the couch one which is here now I'll show you how you set it I'll just put uh, the couch in the scene okay you just um, adjust it wherever you like wherever it works and this may require a lot of um, trial and testing and 
so let's say this this position and rotation is great so what we do we put two scripts into this one of them is the position two and the other one is the prop positioner so if we are happy with that and then with the position if you touch it you'll get a, a position and rotation values in in here in your chat line so you get the prop position this one and copy this and paste this into into your config file and open it again you put the you put the uh, couch name your prop name in that case modern double seater couch in here you put the that proposition here and rotation in here and then again in that case i won't save i don't need to save so i'll just go and right click and touch or object or cat and we'll go animation to and couch jump so as you can see now cat well as you can see let's say this position doesn't work so and you just need to lower it down a little bit and then touch again get the position and do the same thing as i said some props may need um, especially if, you, if your object is interacting with so some props may need a lot of trial and error so i won't spend much time on this as the video getting longer and longer so i'll just go to the next line <clears throat> the next one next line is is the sound let's say if you if you want your cat to have a uh, powering, purring or meow sound so you just get the name of this let's say in the case this and just type it here sound not none if you don't want any sound you just put none if you want sound just put the sound name in there sound volume can be between uh, 0 and 1 so this can be 0, 5, zero 5 it's too loud if you want sound loop going on and on and on so you can make it on and on or off so um, you put the next animation you just you can copy paste and change the values of the next animation the names etc these things and then if you want to go to next main menu you just put the next menu and number of the menu to and then put the other animations under it and then in my case I put the third animation as the sequences you can create many versions um, uh, of the using the same animations in that case there's 11 animations but you could create many sequence sequences uh, with using the, those animations I just go and I just I won't save it I'll just go and quick showing the, how the final one looks so go touch animations one let's say walk and we'll go touch animations we'll go idle so actually one thing let's say if you uh, enter a uh, uh, a custom pro, uh, position and rotation that's very very important you'll come across with the problem let's say you enter the uh, position custom set rotation and position in that case every time if you enter that you need to go to your settings you need to go to your settings let's say you don't want this animation particularly play in here you want to just set it in here and just bring it maybe to here so you want it to play over here okay then you have to go to settings and say uh, get position which will set the position and rotation of this place and then other animations will play in here too other uh, settings is if you go to under the settings is the resets if you have a glitch or, or a problem persistent like a uh, wrong animations all these things if you press reset most of the time this should fix the problem for you 
So and then I just go to next animation, which is um, walk leak power. And then next animation is idle. There's two idles in there, which is the two of the same animation. I'll go to next menu, fast, fast walk. Let's go even faster walk. And cow jump. As you can see, because it is in different location, when you set this, it will affect others. So yeah, every time you have to touch settings and reset again. And then we'll go to other one, uh, cut jump, window sit. And then touch animations, stand and meow. Well, actually it is sit and meow, wrong name. And that is actually transition if you if uh, you're make if you're making a kind of sequence animations that might work if you want your cat from standing going from standing to sit smoothly as you can see and then there's one sequence you can add as many as you like of your own that is a couple of animations following each other and then looping